You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. How is there a murder with no body? The situation calls for one thing. That is luminol testing fluid. Dump it about. Oh, this game's so frustrating. Oh my god, it's so frustrating. Oh, we're gonna use like proper police procedure shit and CSI bullshit only when we need to, but every other time it's like, oh, man, man, luminol, I don't know what the fuck that is, Mr. Wright. Fucking, fucking science bullshit. No, we're not gonna do that. No, no, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a parrot on the stand. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the, oh, the court calls the blue badger to come on the stand. Yes, mm, dance for us. Dance. Mm, yes, dance on the stand. You wanna ask some questions? No, overruled. No, we're just gonna sit here and watch him dance. Mm, yes, mm, yeah, good point. Chatworth, what do you think about this? Like, what the Fuck. But when the police have already done those, those tests. No, the, the police didn't even find a wallet on the floor, Phoenix. They didn't even look inside the exhaust. Someone got down here and did this squiggly outline spaghetti horse shit, spent hours doing this and didn't see the exhaust pipe that's right here and think, oh yeah, what's that? Oh no, to test her blood reaction, just spray the luminol on it like this, see? Oh no. Scientific investigation in action. Okay, so what's with this case? Like, suddenly the judge cares about due process a bit, and there's like the notice about perjury, and now we're doing like crime scene CSI experiment shit. Like, what happened here? When they said perjury, and the judge was like, that's the worst thing that's ever happened. Well, well are they like making fun of everything that happened before? It doesn't need to make sense to me. Like, the, the game, the game put a fucking parrot on the stand, all right? Like, no matter how hard in the criminal when they faced me, they coughed it up, they confessed, they babbled like babies. Were you always chef detective? Every detective must have a theme. What the fuck? Oh, is there gonna be a sucky by detective? Chat, please. I mean, th that would be gross. I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. After taking a five minute stroll in Oompa Loompa Land, two years ago, it was the biggest case I'd ever handled. The biggest, most tragic, chef detective, cowboy. Uh, Albino Carmen San Diego. Another cowboy? What, what? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? <gasps> and it's the ghost of them is coming back. It's the ghost killer. As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. Like, we didn't use luminol though, and we didn't really search the, the area quite thoroughly. But you know, every angle. I'm not being very useful here, am I? No, no, you're being very helpful. Way better than Maya. Chief Police was right about that. To totally, totally a cool guy. Nothing wrong with this guy. Lysanderoth, you were behind this. <laughs> I'm glad that, that some of you have been so on board with the trials being Waffles and Yusuke roleplay. I thought that was an out there joke. It's been embraced quite well. You heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right pal? On the same day the detective was killed- We know! Oh my god! We know! 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 It's the biggest, most tragic most awful scandal to hit the station in ages. Uh, I'm guessing it's Marshall. Oh shit, it's Meekins. I was completely wrong. Perpetrator Officer Meekins reporting, sir. Okay, if I could do a Meeseeks voice, that would be best, but I don't think I could do a Meeseeks. I don't know, he kind of looks like a vampire to me. What do you think, chat? Hey, I'm a lawyer. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir. That That's what I wanted to say. Huh? What the fuck is going on in this trial, huh? You were the one that was on the camera, but they still gave you the file about your own crime to go and give Chadworth across the city? I'm a lawyer. Goodman was stabbed in the two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? Now, now, Raido, I can't give away all our secrets just like that. Yeah, then there would be a fair trial. Okay, seeing that reminds me. Okay, so the shield is broken. Like, is it meant to be broken or is this a broken trophy? What's this? A Philly steak lunch. I see, I see. All right, Bambina, you win. Ask, oh. ask anything you want. So what happens to the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault at the county sheriff's department. That's what we call transferal. We do it every February. Well, that's, that's much better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be after two years. We fit take it to the fucking incinerator and we just destroy it. So this is the evidence room. It really is kind of like a graveyard. I see the metal detector and the fishing pole. Where's the dog? Wait, how did Gumshoe get in here when the card reader was turned off? Well, I've been here for three hours now. I'm really hungry. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. 
There's a trick to the handles, see? This is pure Danganronpa bullshit. On the other side of the handles is a sensor, and if the wrong person touches it, zap, you get a shock. No, it fucking kills you. Someone hooked up the blue badger to the lock and then put the wrong hand on it on purpose, giving it a jolt of electricity, overcharging the battery, and making it go crazy. Oh no, the blue badger. Wow, someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You want to try to put it back together? Oh no. No, I want it. I want to rotate. Fucking hell. Fuck. All right. Well. <laughs> it doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. Wait, flip it upside down. What the fuck is that? That's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What, this? It's called luminol testing fluid. You should have like gallons of it. Where'd you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get some too. All right, you have fucking state-of-the-art fingerprint detection lockers that give out electric shocks, but we, we're the only ones in Luminol that can see the fucking guy gas fucking handprints. Why am I being Joe'd? You know, I never did care for the word tag. It's confusing. Do you know how many other words sound like it? Bag, gag, nag, lag, zag, zag. Is that a word? Do you challenge me? What, are we playing a word game now? Mr. Wright, you've proven the accused is guilty, but he has challenged you to a rap battle. If you cannot outrhyme him, then I must conclude that he's innocent. Whoa. Maybe if you put a shot put ball in the bottom, it wouldn't fall out. And you wouldn't know that until you tried to lift it up. And then the shot put ball would run down here and gain up speed. And then when you look down at lifting it up, it would come out the top and hit you in the head. The shot put ball killer. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Ah uh, yes, he brought me the latest information it seems. Apparently a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Um, the real info is on the other side, Chadworth. <laughs> <laughs> he must be talking about his father's murder in that elevator where they were running out of air and knew they were running out of air because they kept telling each other not to waste the air and they still didn't try to open the door or break the window. But then they would be breaking the courthouse property. They would be arrested. And it just so happened that when we were about to run out of air and I shot a bullet through the glass, the power came back on and Von Karma was able to open the door. Now I'm curious about this other case. I better make a note of it. Oh my god, how many cases are there? Evidence from a past case of the against the against Fucking hell. Stubborn as always. I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. We're on three cases now. Fucking three cases. Luminol testing fluid, hmm? Amateur work. Well then, you might have use for this. Oh my god, no! You just find the handprint and do it automatically. You don't have to use it to like dust the whole crime scene. Oh, thank God. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Huh? How do I do that? With E, exciting, I know. But on the DS, you probably have to blow into the fucking microphone like you did on that one fucking thing in, um, whatchamacallit, Zelda. You ever played Phantom Hourglass and it made you scream into the microphone at one point? It doesn't even tell you to do it either. It just asks for a scream and you're supposed to remember it has a microphone and just scream into the microphone. I remember I was, I was, uh, I had to take the, the subway to work when I was playing that and I was just on the subway playing it. And I got to that part and I'm just in the middle of subway car and just all of a sudden I hold up to my face and I go ah and then and then everyone just looks at me and then I, I proceeded so it was worth it so it was fine um so yeah I was bullshit by the way that didn't happen I wouldn't play my DS in public you crazy what kind of person do you think I am oh I hate this I hate this so much this is terrible well there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is right I guess she's right I'm right too I'm not a fan of the click 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 click, click and then blowing but like matching it's fine all right. Okay, almost done. Almost done. All right. Yeah. Remember, remember that episode of CSI when Grissom goes into this apartment and the wall is just completely covered in blood? Just completely covered in blood. And Frank comes back and it's human blood and they're like, oh shit. And then they find the tenant that had the apartment and it turns out he just gets really crazy nosebleeds and he would just spray the nosebleed all over the wall before he left because he was mad at his landlord. That was the answer. That's why his wall was covered in blood. He just sprayed fucking nosebleed blood all over the wall over weeks and weeks and weeks and that's how the blood got there. It's fucking stupid. <laughs>